there every single day. I mean, I went because I was you know, training and I didn't have a work job. So I, I would go morning and night and guess who would be there? Yeah. Him. <laughs> Somebody else. Yeah. Morning, night, to be any guy. time of the day, <laughs> he'd be there. He's a hard worker, talented. He's got good wrestling. He's got great jujitsu. Uh, but his opponent uh, has also been here before. Uh, Michael Lange. And he dives in but then sits at the guard and, and his guard is out of this world. He's uh, the returning champ at this weight class. Um, but what these two guys had to do to get to this place on this weight class is unbelievable. Uh, you know, the quarterfinals today, any one of the guys could have been here. Mm -hmm. I mean, these guys beat superstars to get here. Absolutely. They beat other world champions. They beat, uh, right, Gilbert Drina Burns. Yeah. They beat... Uh, Lepree. Right. Lucas Lepree. Luke Le Lucas and JT Torres, I believe, was in this division. Yes. Yeah, JT Torres was looking unstoppable. Really almost good. unstoppable, you know, these days. Jeez. So both of these guys had, had no easy road here. Um, they're here because they earned it and... and now we'll see what happens. Lange's very comfortable in this position. It's funny because it just looks like his legs are hanging around. Mm -hmm. But he's very good in this situation. Celso's keeping the left knee in the middle here. He's trying to break off this collar grip a little bit here. It's maybe bothering him a little. You know, people hear Alliance a lot. Right? As we said earlier, they were shooting for all the team trophies from all the tournaments this year. I mean, that they, they've earned the, the recognition. But specifically in this event last year, of the five male opportunities for gold medals at the black, weight, black belt level, they took half of them. Phew. So far, they have two today, if I'm not mistaken. They've got Tarsus Humphreys and Bruno Mafasina. That's right. I'm sure they're hoping that uh, Michael Lange here will make that three. Yeah. Because they still have some more to go. Yeah. So I'm sure they're looking to try to better that, but... Uh, that's impressive, very impressive. Celso's trying to come around the corner over here, but look at Lange's flexibility. Yep. His right foot's just... Just weaving it right back in. Weaving it right back in with almost l no hip movement. Just... Uh, Who needs hips? If yeah. You have knees, <laughs> and knees like that. Yeah. So like I said, he, is he could hang out here all day. He could be stacked on his on his neck with his feet over his head. He's very comfortable in this position. So Celso's just keeping that pressure with the knee in the middle and avoiding any potential Uma Plata triangles. Now we get Slanky stacked up. Back to a position I call position zero. A knee through the middle while you're seated. Kind of a good place to be if you're in the open guard and you're, you need a little breather. You mean from uh, on top? Yes, from yeah. on top, yeah. yeah. Lange breaks uh, Celso's grip on the hands, and that's something nice that you could, you could see there a little bit, which is the importance of, you know, from the passer's perspective, uh, you have to have a grip. I mean, right. if the guy on the bottom has a grip on your sleeve and they're using their legs, you must have a grip to offset that. The, that leg position. Right, you need to neutralize the legs. Right. right. Yeah. And right now, Celso is having a little bit of a hard time getting a grip with that left hand. So he was he's having a little hard time there. Lange's doing a great job, and and, and an omoplata almost as a result. Like you can see, Celso's left hand 
how, how well Lange's keeping it away from from any type of grip. Look how he's right. pulling he's the boss that away. There. Yeah. yeah. It's something nice for uh, for you guys out there to, to look at how much grip fighting is going on here. If, you, if you're fighting the spider guard, you need a counter grip, whether it's the pant leg, whether it's the sleeve. You know, uh, he's there, there, there you see Celso get the right-handed pant leg grip. That's You want to get on the pants and then adjust yourself and get a little higher and higher, but but you need a grip or else the guy on the bottom is just going to pull your arms into him, applaud us, and try. And he's the himself. one driving the bus yeah, in the meantime. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So So now Celsus managed to kind of control the situation now. He's got his grips back. He's got his right-handed grip. He's looking for a left-handed grip, but he just can't quite get one. Have we seen any points yet? No, I don't think. I, b I don't believe think not. Yeah. We've we Lange sat to the guard right from the very beginning, and Celso has been uh, working to pass ever since. So, You know, it was interesting in that last match where Rafael Mendez says, you know, I don't tap the footlocks, right? I mean, it's just not even a question. I don't expect, I'm not threatened by them. Do you think in these sort of situations, because, uh, you know, Lange looks so comfortable, you know, like you said, he could stay here all day. Um, what is his, I mean, what is he really shooting for? Because, I mean, of course, we all know there's a gazillion things you can do from the guard. But does he expect to pull off the majority of them on a guy like Celso Vinicius or... Yeah, I, I think he's looking for an Uma Plata. And, uh, you know, he's trying to create those opportunities by, by, you know, freeing the grip up, waiting for one little mistake on Celso's end. Because when you have leg work like that, right, you, you have a lot of opportunity. I mean, yeah. You, it, the, the, passing, the passer can oftentimes get a little frustrated and fall into some trap. Fall it, almost overcommit the pass, and and start to f to open up his defensiveness, and then and then it, and then boom, you get the omoplata or the triangle. I mean, look at that! Like Celso's lifting him as hard as he can. He's keeping his his knees wide, his feet heavy, and double underhooks. Look at that! It's amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just uh, he's keeping his knees and off of. of Celso's shoulder, so he's not really getting that true stack that he needs to put that pressure. Now there's there, there's an excellent way to pass this up, this kind of this guard. If if you can if he can get him up and have him stay up, I, I I'm not sure if that's what Celso's trying, but if you can stack a guy and get his feet to where they're touching the floor over his head, yeah. then you can start working to try to keep his hips up in the air and start looking to pass. When his hips are down like this and his feet are off the ground, it's, it's hard to pass these guys, this type of guard right here. You know, guys that are good at this. He's trying to, see Lange, trying to fish those legs in. Here comes that right leg, he's going to shoot a normal yeah. plot or a triangle. Must be very frustrating for Benicius right now. Yeah, I, I believe so. Now he's looking for a nice little foot on the bicep sweep. Wow. <laughs> this is going to come down to the very end right here. So we've got uh, a little over a minute left, all zeros. And, you know, the, the thing about the guard position on uh, with the rules is that you know, if, if Celso drops for a footlock, well, he got, he's, he's got almost got swept here. This is going to be an advantage for, for Michael Lange, whether he comes to the top or not. This is a big problem for Celso right now. He's got to work himself back to the top position. Speaking of grips, he's got that one on Lange's sleeve that's presumably keeping Lange from being able to come all the way up. Right. right. You're right. And he's also got to free that right knee. So...
He's working his right knee out now. I'm not sure how much time is left, but it's got to be getting down to right. where it's almost over here. Something is going to matter Man. very soon. Yeah. yeah, and Celso was able to work himself back to the top, but does Lange get an advantage? You know, that that could be that could be the win. Wow, and almost a near pass as a, as a result there, but they're both going to yeah. <laughs> now, suggest that they're the winners. Yeah, and <laughs> rightfully so. They both yeah. need to hold their hands up high. Absolutely. Uh, now, do they give it to Lange for that near sweep right there, or do they give it to Celso because he stayed on top? And Kira and Luana's match. It was the, this is, yeah, same story. Kira stayed on top, had a couple of near passes, and took it, took the gold. So now we're going to see if that's consistent with what we have here in the men's finals. Right. If, the, if it goes the, the same way, then yeah. Celso Vinicius would win. Yes. Lange takes it. Second year in a row, Michael Lange, lightweight world champion. With a bad shoulder, I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure what that was. I, yeah. <laughs> it suggests <laughs> something special about that shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> so there we go. I guess uh, Alliance grabs another one. 